My topic is uh, divorce families and some statistics that I have about divorce in general is that 41% of first marriages end in divorce, 50% of children are children that have to deal with divorce, and 28% of children are children that are born to parents who are not married and will never be married. Um, the average age that has the highest divorce rate is ages 20 through 24. And the average length of a marriage that ends in divorce is around eight years. Women are twice as likely to initiate divorce compared to men, but men often remarry faster. Also, men tend to devote more time to salvaging the marriage compared to women. Women, once they feel the marriage is done, they initially give up. Um, the average divorce takes around 12 months. Belgium has the highest divorce rate in the world at 75% of marriages end in divorce. And the average divorce costs around anywhere from fifteen to $30,000, if not more. Um, some common reasons that divorce could happen is violence, finances, uh, growing apart emotionally, lack of int intimacy and infidelity, and if there is a lack of intimacy, it could lead to infidelity, but either way, both can lead to divorce. Uh, feeling unappreciated, uh, not enough communication, unrealistic expectations, uh, the lack of desire to fix a marriage, and the pressure to marry. The pressure to marry is when society says that you should be married by 25 or if you've been dating for so long, it makes people people feel pressured to take the next step when they really do not want to. Uh, there are usually only three effects or reasons why children have a psychological reaction when learning that their parents are going through a divorce. Um, all the three reactions vary in severity, but the first would be the quality of relationship that the child has with both parents prior to the divorce, um, the intensity of the arguing or the fight, the fights that happen at home before the divorce. Um, if it is a hostile environment, it could make the child not want to be there, avoid home, avoid parents, um, also remaining focused on the needs of the child during the stressful time. Overall, a child just wants to have a connection and a closeness to both parents, and that's hard to do if the child feels the need to avoid you because you guys are arguing all the time. Some negative effects that divorce has on children is children that deal with divorce tend to develop anxiety, depression, anger issues. In some older cases, they even develop substance abuse. Divorce is also proven to affect the child's ability to trust, so when they grow up, they have a harder time letting people in. Um, older children um, begin acting out in rebellious ways. Um, some children also believe that divorce is partially their fault. They say, what if I wasn't here? What could I do? Um, a child could try to take on more responsibility at home when a divorce is happening. So they could try to get another job or get a job try to help out. Some of the positive effects that divorce has on children is that if divorce is necessary, it can be beneficial to the child. So for example, if there was violence in the house, that could definitely be beneficial. Uh, single parents have a closer relationship with, a ch with their child compared to a traditional family. And when a family is separated, the time that the child spends with each, like either parent the parent tends to pay more attention, spend more quality time, and give them a few extra gifts. Um, also, when they're not together, the child receives more phone calls. They try to talk to them more often, com again, compared to the traditional family. Um, the child also has twice as many supporters. So say your mother gets remarried and your father gets remarried, and that's just double the support system. Um, adolescence is age 13 through 19. And divorce also has a um, big effect on them. Usually adolescents going through something this stressful at this age begin to act out rebelliously. Um, some of these acts could be dropping out of school, petty theft, um, stealing, and some others like having sex at a younger age. Um, these acts are usually 
They cry for attention. If they're not receiving it at home, they will start to act out. Also, adolescents tend to have a harder time in school. They lose the ability to regulate their emotions. So suffering from this emotional dis distress, their, their school grades tend to decline. Um, some steps to help your child through this divorce um, is positive reassurance, making sure that the child knows that both parents love them and are trying to do their best for them. Also, validate the child's feelings. Allow them to be open with at least one or both parents if possible. Answering any questions they may have now or in the future. Um, the child may not have any questions right now, but when they do start dating, the questions could start coming up. Also, talk about the future. Try not to shy away from the unknown. Keep things as clean and peaceful at the house as possible. Meaning, again, if you're arguing or fighting at home in front of the child, it could be a hostile environment making them not want to be there. And make sure the child feels, or make sure you try to make sure the child feels as little pressure on them to do extra as possible. You do not want them growing up too fast. Um, the differences between a divorce, ch divorce family and a traditional family is... Divorced child usually has double holidays, so two Christmases, two Thanksgivings. Um, they could spend the morning with one and the afternoon with the other, or vice versa. They also have double the support system. The child could have to go to court and choose who they want to live with. That could be extremely stressful. Uh, children could turn the parents against each other, saying, threatening to go live with the other one if I don't get this. Um, divorce is extremely stressful on men and women, but some examples that women go through are women feel multiple feelings when going through a divorce, such as guilt, depression, anxiety. Um, the feelings can definitely be maximized if there is a child involved. One of the most common feelings that a woman experiences after divorce is guilt, even if the woman initiates it, and especially if there is a child involved. Um, some positive feelings on top of the many other feelings that a woman has is could be the feeling of relief, especially if the marriage started getting extremely stressful towards the end. Also, it is found that women have a bigger and stronger support system. And just as women have tendencies, men do as well. So again, men tend to remarry faster. Men also tend to have a harder time adjusting emotionally. They experience more loss in the areas of intimacy, uh, social interactions, and they seek something to fill the void, such as another relationship, and this could be the reason why men remarry faster. Divorced men are three times more likely to commit suicide compared to divorced women, and 62% of all male suicides are men, are men who have never been married. Uh, men also tend to drink and smoke more often and participate in riskier situations. Um, the death rate for men who have never been married is 70% higher than men who are married or have been. Um, overall effect that divorce has on your health um, can affect everything from your sleeping habits to your heart. Um, an unhealthy marriage can lead to chronic high blood pressure, um, drastic weight change, um, either gaining or losing. Some people turn to comfort foods in their time of despair where others just either lose their appetite or feel like starve themselves in general. Also, divorce can lead to insomnia and depression, and depression can have serious effects on your health. And men who are married tend to be healthier. They eat a more balanced diet, more fruits and vegetables, and sometimes even exercise more often. But overall, Divorce is a very difficult time for both you and your children and can affect your psychological, emotional, and overall health. Um, sometimes it can't be avoided, again, if there's violence or other um, examples, but keep in mind that a child needs a strong support system and help through it just as the parents do.